subscribe, like, and share. Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. How African is Black America? Average ancestry of the African American population by racial ethnic category. Black demographics. Blackdemographics.com. Source calculated by Blackdemographics.com using an average of five genealogical. DNA testing research companies as cited by Henry Louis Gates Jr. article exactly how black is black America dated February the 11th 2013 22% European 1% Native American 2% other 74% sub-Saharan African Number two, seventy four per cent Jews of Balad el Sudan, West African Jewish communities, Southern Kingdom of Judah. Jews of Balad el Sudan, Jews of the Balad el Sudan describes West African Jewish communities which were connected to known Jewish communities which were expelled from the Middle East, North Africa, or Spain, and Portugal, and migrated to West Africa. Various historical records state that at one time they were present in the Ghana, Mali, and Songhai Empire. These Jewish communities continued to exist for hundreds of years, but they eventually disappeared as a result of changing social conditions, persecution, migration, and assimilation. The transatlantic slave trade transfer of this population to the Americas. the book Encyclopedia of the Jewish Diaspora Origins Experience and Culture by M. Avram Ehrlich Editor Page 453 Migrations of Jews into West Africa Migrations of Jews into West Africa by Ahav Eliyahu According to most accounts, the earliest Israeli settlements in Africa were in places such as Egypt, Tunisia, and Ethiopia. Historians believe these settlements 
may have been in existence as early as the kingdoms of David and Solomon, as well as during the Assyrian invasion of northern Israel in 722 BCE and the Babylonian captivity of Judah in 586 BCE in the Punic Carthaginian age. A map of colonies of Jews in Africa. Source The Lost Tribes A Myth by author Alan H. Goodbay. Migrations of Jews into West Africa by Ahav Eliyahu. These communities were augmented by subsequent arrivals of Jews after the destruction of the Second Jerusalem Temple in 70 CE when 30,000 Jewish slaves were settled throughout Carthage by the Roman Emperor Titus. The Carthaginian Empire Ancient Carthage Migrations into Sub-Saharan Africa In later centuries, Jews are believed to have settled in Western Africa during the height of the Songhai, Mali, Ghana, and Canaan Borno empires. According to accounts from explorers of the region, several powerful Jewish families of the Songhai Empire were of Jewish origin. And to Asgaya, Mohammed came to power and in 1492 decreed that all Jews either convert to Islam or leave the region. Migrations into Sub-Saharan Africa According to certain records in Timbuktu, an older community was formed by a group of Egyptian Jews who traveled by way of the Sahel corridor through Chad into Mali. The City of Timbuktu Migrations into Sub-Saharan Africa Another community was that of the Zuwa ruler of Kukaya, located near the Niger River, whose name is only known as Zuwa Alaman. Zuwa Alaman is said to have traveled into West Africa along with his brother and eventually established a local Jewish community between Mali and northern Nigeria. Some accounts place West African Jewish communities in the Ondo forest of Dahomey, south of Timbuktu. In the 1930s, these groups still maintain a Torah scroll written in Aramaic that had been burned into parchment with a hot iron instead of ink so it could not be changed.
colonies of Jews in Africa from the Lost Tribes a myth Alan H. Goodbay on the map you can see the region of Dahomey The Earth and its Inhabitants, Africa, by Elysis Reclus, Volume 3, West Africa. Page 267, Dahomey. Dahomey, east of Great Popo, begins the Dahomey territory, guarded by the important town of Galuche, known to Europeans by various names of Fida, Hereda, Waida, Waida. The old writers call it Judah, and its inhabitants were said to be Jews. A Mission to Jaleel, King of Dahomey, by Captain Sir Richard F. Burton. Page 191. The eye dwells with delight upon the numerous country villages, like the 115 towns of the tribe of Judah, and upon the thin forests of palms rising from the tapestry of herbage, here waving, there cut short, which combine to make this spot the Fridays, or paradise, of the homey land. Africans in colonial Louisiana, the development of Afro-Creole culture in the 18th century by Gwendolyn Milo Hall. Page 34, although the company of the Indies had a trading post at Judah, Wida, on the Gulf of Benin. The slave trade at Judah was becoming uncertain and unprofitable. Between 1726 and 1731, almost all the slave trade voyages organized by the Company of the Indies went to Louisiana. Page 75, the Dada of Dahomey overthrew the kingdom of Judah. On February 12, 1729, the captain of the slave ship La Meduse wrote from Judah, There are no more inhabitants, and the country is deserted. You can imagine how hard it is to find captives. Between 1727 and 1729, practically every slave trade voyage organized by the company of the Indies from its port of Le Orient was intended to carry slaves to Louisiana. Uh -huh. 
how African is black America? 74% of the DNA of the average African American population is derived from the Jews of Bilal El Sudan, West African Jewish communities, Southern Kingdom of Judah. Next, part three, the 1% of the DNA of the average African American, Native American Indian, the Northern Kingdom of Israel. <laughs> 